Hey YouTube, it's Sharice here. Obviously I just got out of the shower. I am soaking wet and my hair is soaking wet. This is gonna be a hair video. I have been on a roll trying out new products because my hair has been so dry lately. So I've been on the hunt to see what can give me the most moisture and the most defined popping curls because you guys know I wear my hair in a wash and go 99.9% .9 of the time. I rarely ever do any other sort of style. So I'm just wrapping this around extra tight to make sure that we don't have any accidents and let's jump right into this. So what I use to do my hair today is I just finished conditioning and I kind of shampooed. Let me just show you exactly what I did. So I started off with the Aussie Mega Moist Conditioner and I co-washed my hair. After that, while I have the conditioner still in my hair, I took a little bit of my Herbal Essence Hello Hydration Shampoo Plus plus conditioner and apply that just to my roots just to cleanse the roots and the edges of my hair where I mostly have gel and buildup. And then I just rinsed all of that out. Then I went in with the Aussie three, mir three minute miracle deep conditioner to really um, add moisture to my hair. And I just rinsed that out. And this is what my curls are looking like with no product. As you can see, super moisturized. And my hair is actually kind of defined already without any product. On it so now we're gonna apply um, leave-ins and all that stuff so I've picked up some more new products today which I've been watching reviews on YouTube and things just trying to figure out what will probably work best for my fine low porosity type 4 kinky coily hair as you can see my hair is mostly corkscrew um, curls like it's all coils so ain't no waves. I'm definitely type 4 hair. I used to think I had 3C hair, but no, my hair is pretty much 4A, 4B. So we're going to go in with this new leave-in that I picked up from Ally K Naturals, and this is their Lemongrass Leave-In Conditioner. I picked this up from Target today. This is the big size, and this was $19.99, so it's $20 for 16 ounces. And this is a spray-in leave conditioner. It says, can be used on dry or wet hair, apply after shampooing the hair, be sure to saturate each strand to ensure proper coverage. Can be used as a daily moisturizing spray onto hair style as usual. So, doesn't say anything about shaking it or anything. So we're just gonna go in with this and start spraying this on my hair. I can't really see my mirror because it's still foggy, but we're just gonna saturate my hair, my section it. Ooh, it smells nice. Let me part it in half. Sorry guys, there's water getting my eye. Let's just part it down the middle. I'm just gonna go in and saturate my hair with this spray leave-in. I really like that it's in a spray bottle and I'm also really liking the smell of it. Oh yeah, that's definitely saturating my hair. So I'm just making sure that it gets all in there. Oh, that's nice. Y'all see how my hair is defining over here on this side? I'm just gonna make sure that I definitely get it on the center part of my hair. I tend to neglect the center part of my hair. All right, so this side is all nice and saturated with the leave-in as you can see my curls are starting to pop and the product is definitely saturating my hair so let's work on this side you can definitely see the difference between these curls versus this side without the leave-in and i feel like this is super fast super convenient and easy for people that are in a rush which i'm kind of in a rush but kind of not really it's 8 8 p.m right now and i'm just going to my boyfriend's house to give him a gift I got him some socks for St. Patrick's Day. He really likes fun socks. So I got him some that have the Irish flag on them and he is Irish, part Irish. So I thought they were super cute. They made me think of him and I was like, huh, he'd like these. Found them at Old Navy. So I'm literally just spraying this into my hair saturating it with the leave-in did i mention this leave-in smells amazing this leave-in smells really good it does have a lemon smell to it lemongrass 
It's some good stuff to eat. I had the best fried chicken I've ever had is lemongrass fried chicken. And it was made by this Filipino man that went to my church in Hawaii. Him and his wife, his name is Ernest and his wife's name I believe was Eileen. Is Eileen, I don't know if there's, I don't know if they're alive or not. I think they still are, but man, they were the Bautistas, was the last name Bautista. And let me tell you, that chicken was the best fried chicken I've had in my life to this day. I'll never forget that fried chicken, but it was, he used some sort of lemongrass seasoning on it, he told us. All right, so I'm just spraying more, just making sure that my hair is fully saturated. I'm gonna go inside of this half. This is my kinkier side. The right-hand side of my hair is um, a little bit more kinky, coily than the left side. Why? I don't know. That's just how my hair is. All right, so my hair is definitely fully saturated with this leave-in. As you can see, it is like I don't want to say leaving a residue, but it is like foaming up some. Feels really nice. My hair definitely feels super moisturized and happy. And I have used quite a bit of the product already, so I don't think I need any more. All right, we have the leave-in in. You can see my hands, how they're kind of like foamy. Can y'all see that? They're kind of foamy. I like this leave-in though. I can definitely see a difference in my hair. It's shinier, smells really good, feels moisturized. Let's move on. We're gonna seal on this moisture with a little bit of oil. And I just picked up some Jamaican black castor oil. This is a four ounce fluid bottle of the Sunny Isle, the original authentic Jamaican black castor oil, extra dark, looks like this. I picked this up at Target today as well. It was $8.99. If I can turn it around to the front, the bottle does not want to spin and my hands are wet. But this is the packaging. Sunny Isle, y'all can see that. Extra dark Jamaican black castor oil. I wasn't trying to use this, but I don't feel like fighting with this bottle, so I'll probably just mix this into the oil I have, which also is a little bit of the Ali K Naturals Essential 17 Growth Oil. I love this oil. And as it got low, I just added my own to it. And I'm just going to apply this in my hands. I'm shaking up the bottle. I mostly add olive oil to it. My hair really likes olive oil. So I'll just shake it up some. And then I'm going to apply it to my hands. Rub my hands together and then rub it onto my hair. And I'm just going to do a couple handfuls. I tend to over apply oil to my hair and then it ends up running down my neck and stuff. So we're just going to do those two handfuls, kind of generally apply it over all of my hair. You can see my hair is super easy to run my fingers through. It is totally detangled. The Aussie Moist line works really good on my hair. Really good for detangling. Y'all can see. My curls are still popping. All right, so. That's it for my liquid and my oil, my leave-in and oil. My hair feels really nice, so now let's lock the curls and the definition in place with some gel and i am back to an old faithful product i just feel like everything i've been using lately hasn't been working hasn't been giving me the results that i want and i desire so i am back to my good faithful tried tested and true eco styler argan oil gel this is my favorite one i love the argan oil i do want to try the jamaican black castor oil one and the coconut oil one but your girl can't find them anywhere near where she lives. So again, this is what my hair is looking like. You can definitely tell that it's nice and moisturized. And again, I started on freshly washed, soaking wet hair. And this is what it's looking like. All right, so now let's go on with the gel. Let me section my hair. It's really defined though. My hair is looking really nice. It looks really pretty actually. Let me just fix my towel real quick, BRB. 
All right, just making sure that we don't have any, you know, accidents. <sighs> Let me tilt this up a little bit more so I don't have to bend down. There we go. All right, so let's go in and apply the gel. Have two fresh new hair ties here. We're going to section my hair. And I'm lazy when it comes to applying hair products, so I don't do super small sections like all these other young ladies on YouTube. Your girl is lazy. So I'm just gonna take this big back section, I'll show you guys what it looks like. With this much hair. And we're gonna start with that back section. And I'm literally just gonna take a nice amount of gel and I like to rub it on the roots like this, starting at the top of my hair. Rub it on my roots and then kind of smooth it down the length of my hair. And this just makes sure that the roots get really smooth. And as you can see, there's lots of like water and things falling from my hair. Then I take more of my fingers and just finger comb it through. And it's interesting to see how these products work together. So far they seem to be liking each other. But I will say that the texture of my hair feels different. The Eco Styler Gel is making my hair not feel as slippery and smooth as it did with just the leave-in and the oil on it. And as you can see, the definition is bomb.com. Let's just make sure that we get the center part of my curls. Alright, so I just kind of broke the section in half just to make sure that I get both sides. And I'm just finger combing and raking this gel through my hair. So that is what we got so far. So far, so good. And I just smooth it through. Move it on to another section. Let's do this small little section over here. There is no rhyme or reason, method or madness to this. Oh, I also do detangle with a wide tooth comb in the shower, which is why it's so easy for me to glide the hair, glide the hair, glide the gel through my hair. As you can see, I'm not having any problems just raking it right through. And that's because my hair truly is 100% detangled. You can see that. And I go ahead and kind of like smooth my edges slash style them during this stage, kind of. And there's that section. Going back over here. To me, this is the fastest, most effective way for me to do my wash and go is to use Eco Styler because I know it's gonna work. I'm gonna apply it to my roots, then comb through the hair, finger comb it through. Apply a little bit more to the ends if you need to. And I definitely make sure to hit up the edges of my hair. I make sure those are kind of, like I said, I kind of style them as I go. So then they are nice and defined. So there's that. So now we have basically half my head done. Y'all can kind of see my length. Um, length check. I'm like one inch past collarbone now. And I did trim my hair recently. So I think I'm definitely, my hair is definitely growing. And I'm just really looking forward to be healthy and not dry. Because I hate the feeling of dry hair dry natural hair, it's just like rough and ew.
So I'm more concerned about the health of my hair than the length, but I am trying to grow it out really big. I want it to be big more so than long. I've decided that's what I want. Ooh, that's too much. Try not to take too, too, too much gel so I don't have too much residue on my hands. But I am heavy handed with product as y'all have seen and know. If you watched any, if you watched any of my videos, really. All right, so we're just smoothing this in, raking it through, raking the product through. Like I said, I usually have to add a little bit more to this side of my hair because it's more kinky, coily. You can see. I do not like the olive oil eco styler gel. That does not really work on my hair. I did when my hair was really short, but as my hair grew out, my hair does not like that one. This is the one it likes the best. As you can see, the definition is amazing. And we'll see how this all dries tomorrow, which tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, hence why I have on, have on, hence why I have painted my nails bright green, which I love the color green, so I'm really happy with my nails. And this nail polish is from Wet n Wild. Did you hear that water splatter? So my hair still is very moist and wet. I don't need to respray it or anything to resaturate it. It is well saturated. You can see the difference between this part that just has the leave-in versus the part that has the gel. The part with the leave-in and the little bit of oil on it is still defined, but it's not as defined as with the gel. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, this nail polish is from Wet n Wild and it's called Lettuce, as in lettuce, like that you eat. Iceberg lettuce, romaine lettuce, let us be friends. Cute name. I really love their formula and I've been like, every time I go into a place that has Wet n Wild nail polish, I usually buy at least one to three nail polishes because they're inexpensive, they're long lasting, and they're just good. It's a good formula. I'm sure you guys can hear the sound that it's making. The gel on my hair. It's making interesting noises. All right. I do smaller sections as I get closer to the top. And the center of my hair, the coils are smaller and tighter than the back and the bottom of my hair. So I can see that. I'm trying to debate, do I want to wear it down the middle? I don't really like middle parts on me. So I'm going to do this little piece right here. Like I said, I always smooth it onto the roots and then kind of rake it through just so that the roots lay really flat and the roots are very defined and then take it down into the rest of my hair. I have Backstreet Boys in sync stuck in my head. Bye bye bye. Do, 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 boom, boom. We listened to that today in music class. I was playing it like to be funny as the kids were leaving my class and they just weren't quite getting it but the aides that come with them thought it was hilarious and their teachers thought it was hilarious when they came to the door to pick up their kids and that song was playing you know that's just me trying to be funny and humorous and I'm glad the teachers and the adults appreciated but I wish the kids had caught on to what I was doing there they didn't get it it's okay it's okay I tried all right, so we have just this one last section left here in the front of my head. 
And boyfriend's texting me. He's probably like, where are you? <laughs> Little does he know. I just wash my hair. He kind of... Okay, my, my boyfriend's white. He knows that I do a lot to my hair and that it is, you know, a task. But I don't think he fully understands how much work I put into my hair. But he, he'll learn. He's, he's learning. All right, so this is what my hair is looking like so far. I'm just kind of separating. Actually, let's do a trick that I've seen a lot of people do here on YouTube. They finger coil the front of their hair. Let's do some finger coils up here. I'm just afraid that my hair will kind of start to dread up because it is so coily. But let's try it. Let's just do a few up here at the very top layer. Just to make sure that it's not too flat. Oh, that is nice. Huh, okay. Well, doing a couple finger coils just to make sure that I don't like the top to be too, too, too flat in the bang area. I might need to do that on this side too. All right, so this is what my hair looks like with the gel and the leave-in and the little bit of oil fully applied all over. I'm just smoothing areas that I feel like need a little bit of smoothing. And oh, let me show you my hands. So this is what my hands look like. You can see that I do have some shedding on my hands from kind of raking the product through my hair but it is very minimal shedding because I've already detangled and everything in the shower. So I'm trying to gather it all so I can show you how much that little tiny ball. And my hair tends to shed a lot anyway. So, and I've had less shedding, I will say, than um, a little while ago, I was a little concerned about how much shedding I had. So this is what the hair looks like with the gel fully applied. As you can see, I have a little bit more whiteness in the front Probably because I applied a little bit more in that area. Um, this is how it hangs down. This is it soaking wet. And this won't dry until tomorrow afternoon. So if you want to see pictures of it dry, um, hopefully it will dry nice down. But if not, then it will be up in some sort of style. Oh, gosh. All right. Huh, let me see what boyfriend wants but that's it for this video I think this is probably going to be my new staple products because I'm really loving the way it looks right now but we'll see how it dries and see how long it lasts and see if it's um, crunchy and whatnot so this is what it looks like like I said so far I have good feelings about it Now y'all can really see the curl pattern and the textures that I have. Let me go ahead and get my toothbrush and smooth the edges some. Let's see how I did that to my edges. Oh goodness. I smoothed them down a little bit with this toothbrush that I use specifically for my edges. All right, so this is the hair. Um, let me do a 360 real quick. Kind of started. I already showed you kind of this side. Let me rotate this way. Making sure you guys can see all of my hair.
So this is the results. Like I said, if you want to see the finished dry results, um, I'll try and take some pictures before I put it up if it doesn't come out how I want it to. Whoa, I was like, what is this on my shoulder? I have some gel miscellaneously over here on my shoulder. We're just going to, you know, distribute that to my edges. <sighs> That's one thing about doing my hair with just a towel on and not a bathrobe is that I get product on me. But it smells really good. Oh, that leave-in smells divine. All right, I'm done with this video. Let me know if you guys have any other questions about my hair. Like I said, I'll update you guys on how this concoction product layering goes. So far, I'm loving the way that it's looking and I feel like it's really promising. So again, thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you in some way shape forward fashion. See you in the next one. Bye YouTube.